Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Forgiven Gaming YouTube channel, another Elden Ring video, if you will. Uh, today we are going to be going over how to fight the creepy cat in the catacombs. Uh, I want to say it's called a watchdog. Um, so if we look on the map where we're at, uh, we can see that we're just northwest of the Church of Ella. That's the place where little Santa Claus is in, where you can buy your... Uh, that was a creepy face on the statue. Um, speaking of the statue, you can go ahead, come over here, press Y. It says Guide and Gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. A little white line will pop up, and that is, that is going to direct you to where the entrance to the cavern actually is. So here we are at the front of the cave, uh, or the, what do we want to call this thing? Um, dungeon. We'll call it a dungeon. Um, and you can actually see where it's at on the map here. You're going to go ahead and do what this guy's doing. Press Y on the door to open it up. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get through the, um, like the whole dungeon itself, uh, what enemies to expect, where to expect them, uh, and then how to fight the boss at the end. We can talk to this little ghosty boy right here, kind of listen to what he's saying. There's going to be two enemies inside this room. There's going to be one on the left, one on the right. All enemies in this dungeon do cause a pretty significant amount of bleed damage. As you guys can see. It's not one on the left, one on the right. It's uh, one on the left and then one in the back, which is this guy right here. They are very easy to just uh, blitz down if you're using that. Um, uh, what am I trying to say here? If you're using the Uchi Katana. Oh, I do want to go over the setup, obviously. Uh, setup is pretty standard one. We have the Uchi Katana, the Longbow, and the Shield. Uh, standard uh, Samurai outfit. Crimson Emblem Medallion. And then uh, three and one red to blue uh, flasks. From here, you're going to go down to what was the right if you just came in. Left if you're going back. You do have a Grave Glove Wart on the right-hand side that's going to be used to upgrade your Ashes, and you have a Summoning Pool right here near the boss door. This boss door is not able to be opened right now, as we need to uh, interact with a lever further on in the dungeon. From here, we're going to go in here. You can actually use your target lock and find the enemy that's right there. Hit him with one charge attack, wait for him to drop down. Hit him with just a light attack. Look for the enemy on the left, same thing as before. One charge shot. And I think he likes to stay up there and just throw stuff. So, hit him with just a quick. Oh, hold on, we missed. Hit him with a couple quick light attacks. That'll finish him off. And there's a third one that you can target up on the top right hand side. Same as before. Charge attack. Light attack. And then this one does like to come down and play. So, we'll use a light attack and another light attack. From there, we can switch back over to the Uchi Katana. Come over here to the right-hand side. We can pick up the Grave Glove Wart again. And on the left-hand side, we have the Grave Violet. We'll go ahead and pull out the shield, or the, sorry, the bow. Come into this room, you'll have the Fire Trap, and then you have an enemy waiting up in the top right-hand corner. Go ahead and hit him with just a regular basic attack. Switch back over to the Uchi. And hit him a couple times. If you do approach the fire, he will drop down and try and ambush you. Once the fire is done, we want to make sure we run into it. Go to the right, but don't go too far. There's another stream of fire coming at you. And before you move on, you actually want to move behind this statue. And grab the Prattling Pate Hello. Uh, basically, these, acts as, these act in the same way as... I want to say they were... Not seeds of a giant tree, but something similar to that uh, in the Dark Souls games. You, you drop them on the ground, they say a phrase. This one obviously. Once the fire is done again, you want to be kind of quick about this because you don't have a lot of time for air. Dip over to the right hand side. And then once again, you want to go behind the statue here. You'll notice that you do have a couple enemies here. You have five. You have two on the back wall, uh, one on the right hand side, kind of over here. And then if we switch over to this side, we can see that we have one here and one on the wall itself. The good thing is these guys don't all aggro together, so you can actually like uh, peel them one at a time. We'll hit him on the wall, we'll drop, we'll hit him on the ground. Those are both heavies. 
And then we could either hit him with a charge attack, uh, or I'm sorry, a light attack, but we look, it looked like we missed it. I did not know that we could actually, like, drop the, uh, the fire thing. That's... I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, let's back up. That's weird. Alright, anyways, done playing with that. We're gonna go back. Do a charge attack on the wall on the wall. Immediately follow up with another charge attack. And light attack. We'll take out the one on the ground here first. We'll go charge. And it looks like two charges are going to kill this one. Up to the one on the wall. Charge. Charge. Left on the D-pad to switch the shield. And we'll finish him off. Then with the guy on the right hand side, we'll just go over here. And we'll just blitz him down with the Ichi Katana. On the left, you have the Ghost Glove Wart again, and you have the Smoldering Butterfly. So you just hit it and it drops down. That's, uh, I did not know that when my first time coming through here. So now there's no worry coming back. Press Y to climb up the ladder that was in that second alcove. Immediately on the top of the ladder, you only have two enemies. There's going to be one on the far side of the room, and then one right here. Uh, we're going to take out the one that's close, since he's the, uh, the bigger threat at the moment. Five hits with an unupgraded Uchi Katana and a base level Samurai is going to do it. Same thing with this guy. One, two, three, four, and five, and he's done. Pick up the uh, Grave Glove Wart one more time. And we have two enemies in the room up ahead. Uh, we're actually going to try and lure this one out. He likes to throw stuff. And if you can just sit back here, have him throw stuff, and then just, uh, like, sidestep it, shoot back, then this guy becomes a little bit of a joke for you. We did miss an arrow there and there. And then there's one more enemy in here that we need to worry about. It's going to be right there on the right-hand side. One, two, three, four, and dead. Oh, never mind, he's still alive, and... From here, you can pick up the Grave Glove Wart again, and on the left-hand side, the Wandering Noble Ashes. This will help you, this will allow you to spawn up as long as you have the Summoning Bell. Five uh, nobles to wander around. Sorry, I'm checking uh, walls. Anytime I see a, um, a note, I'm just like, all right, maybe it's true. Last Grave Glove Wart of the dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lever here. While we do that, uh, we can actually demonstrate, oops. We can actually demonstrate what the, uh, what those wandering nobles look like. Uh, we'll use them in the boss fight with us. Ooh, maybe not. I'm wondering if it's going to work in the boss fight. We are going to head up here just to replenish our Estes flasks or our um, Crimson and Cerulean flasks one more time. So we will uh, rest at the Site of Grace. That right there is going to be every enemy in the dungeon that is not the boss. Uh, and now we're going to head on over to the boss. This boss fight is a really, really easy one. Um, this is where we're going to actually use the bow. This boss is just uh, pretty creepy in design. I actually like the way that they did it. So let's, uh, let's double hand this thing. We go in. It does allow us to spawn up our nobles. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then just use charge shot on the cat. It's gonna fly up. You can. Oh, wow, he does not like nobles. Anytime he lands, it's a really easy basic attack. It does do a lot of damage, so you wanna make sure that you're not underneath it whenever it lands, obviously. Roll back, hit him with some basics. He's gonna do a fire attack. This really leaves him open to two back to back charge attacks. Um, and looks like we can actually maybe... Oh, I was going to go for a third. Whenever he stands up like this, he does move across the arena and then drops a, uh, a very short-range attack directly in front of him. Very easy to sidestep. Just continue to drop on charge attacks as you can, light attacks where you need to. Roll, light. And then you can see it does, a, like I said, a fair amount of damage.
and we'll finish him off right here. That is basically it. That is going to be the dungeon boss, the Erd Tree Watchdog done. He does drop the Noble Sorcerer Ashes. And let's go ahead and read the item descriptions of the two main items that we got, which are the, uh, the Ashes. So the first one is going to be the Wandering Noble Ashes. This summons five Wandering Noble Spirits. Uh, it says, Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirits of five Wandering Nobles. These are going to be the same for any Ashes, so I'm not going to read them from now on. The spirits of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was has long been forgotten. That's the one that we picked up in that room with the two little gargoyle things. And then this one from the boss, the noble sorcerer Ashes. Uh, spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Raya Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. And that's basically going to be it. That's everything in the dungeon. You can come over here, press Y to return to the entrance, and that is going to be us done. As always, like, subscribe, and comment.